Hey, so in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about a lesson I've learned recently in a bit of a silly way, a bit of a silly story here, which is never let your greed consume you. That we should never let our greed consume us. That is the lesson. And I found it in a bit of a silly way, not as serious as my um, my usual stories. And my, my stories aren't usually that, that serious, but nevertheless, this one's certainly more silly. But anyway, let's get right into it. What, what, what am I talking about? So, a couple weeks ago, I was playing a game called Fortnite. I don't, I don't know if you know it or not. It's a big one, so you probably do. But regardless, I'm not the biggest Fortnite player, but it's my little cousin. So I was getting on there, and I'm not the absolute best at the video game. You know, I used to be when I was younger, when I was his age, but, but um, now I'm not. So... I suck. But the point is, I was getting on playing with him. I'm not an occasional, so I'm I'm only so good. And the rough concept of the game, in case you don't know, is you just get set out into this big open map, and there's loot to find all around, there's gear to find all around, and you just go get the gear, and then you fight the players, and it's like deathmatch. It's just till the last guy's standing. And the map shrinks and shrinks and shrinks, condensing everyone into a certain area. And, um, yeah, you, you just get better gear, different qualities, different levels of gear, and then fight to the death. So it's pretty basic. It's a pretty basic one. But, anyway, while we were doing this, while we were playing this, my cousin split off when, uh, uh, split off when I wasn't looking, and I had no idea. So I got into a fight with some people, and I thought he was there. I thought he'd have my back. He didn't. So I died. I, you know, the, I, I think they just got lucky, but that's between you and me. Regardless, I died. So, he had to go get my revive card, which is a feature in the game where you, if your teammate dies, you just pick up their, you pick up a card and you go revive them at a, at a station. So, that's, that's what the, that's what he should have done. But what he did, because he moseyed his way on over, he moseyed his way 500 meters away from me. Pretty pretty big distance. And he picked up my card, but instead of just running over to the nearest station and getting it done, he, he sat there and he started switching out all the gear. All my good gear and the other people's good gear that have died around there. He starts switching everything out and picking like a vulture. I swear, he was there for a couple minutes and the enemies were still there. There was an active fight, just like a little bit off. And it finished midway through his looting session, his vulture picking moments. And that led to the enemy coming, because, you know, the zone condenses and the map it gets shorter. So they came out of that area because they were about to get condensed by the zone and just saw him. It and it gave them enough time to find him and kill him. And then that was the end of the game. And... It's funny, because I remember in the moments I was screaming at him that, that like, don't let your greed consume you, because we're going to die. There's a fight over there. You're, you're going to die. I remember telling him that. And, you know, he said it was fine. But it wasn't, because he died. He, he died right over there. And, you know, if he, if he just took the moment, took the moment to pick up my card, maybe grab a gun, not sit there for a minute or two, then possibly... We could have ran over there, got back, killed everybody and won the game. Probably not. The likely scenario would have been that I was brought back to life and we died later on in the game. But you never know. Point is, if he had taken the just the, the simple moment to take a deep breath and not be greedy, then we, we could have maybe, maybe this much of a chance won. You never know. You never know. I mean, of course, it wasn't detrimental. We, we just loaded up a new game. It was fine. But, and that's why I say this is a silly story. But it just had me thinking later that day, once I said it, that like, he, he let his greed consume him. And that cost us the game. But that's also like a bigger lesson too. And then my brain just exploded into thoughts. And now we have a blog and a video. So there we go. So let's get into the lesson, actually, because the lesson's the true gem. The lesson's the thing that we're here for. The lesson is sparing the silly story. 
So, the lesson, to never let greed consume us. So, well, like, what, what does that really mean? Because, like, what happens when we let our greed consume us? Well, besides the Fortnite scale, it really does actually make us push the important things aside. And it kind of transforms us into a new person. Because in that heat of the moment, we're only thinking based off of what we want. We're not exactly, like, forgetting about the entire weight of the whole situation, but we are certainly not thinking about it as much as we should. Because, for instance, if my cousin was thinking about the weight of the situation, the proper weight of it, he would have figured, there's enemies right over there, this can wait, I'll just get them back, maybe we can win. Instead, there's enemies over there, I could go get them, but I like the look of this loot, so I'm just going to pick here for a little while, even though I can't take those guys. And that's not to say he's a bad player, but uh, like he rarely does this. But on this particular game, I don't know, man. He just wasn't having it, I guess. He just had to pick loot. But beyond the Fortnite scale of things, once again, that that simple little thing that uh, like transforming into a different person and pushing the heat of the moment aside or, or the weight of the moment aside, that can do a lot more then lose you a game of Fortnite. And that has happened to me. I have done this. Where I have become a new person in that, in, in a sense. And I switch up. In the heat of the moment. And then I only focus on what I want. And in those moments I make rash decisions. I make bad decisions. And I hurt people along the way. Now that's not to say that anyone gets too too hurt. But that's to say uh, like, like physically. Nobody's died. Nobody's. Bit, heart's been broken, nobody's dead, nobody's, it, it's all fine. But it's to say that in those moments, I hurt someone's feelings. Nothing that can't be fixed with an apology, but it shouldn't have happened in the first place. And if I didn't let my greed get to get the better of me, I wouldn't have thought about that. I wouldn't have done that. Because I would have considered the actual weight of the situation. I would have considered the logical approach here, and that would have been that. A similar video and or videos and blogs to this are the sleep on it, um, the sleep on it blogs and videos and the the um, listen to your emotions videos and blogs. Forgot the name there for a second, because they have the perfect balance where we do want to let our emotions take control for a moment, but we don't want to let our logic also take too much control, because if we let emotion take too much control, we get greedy. And then, and then we put things aside and we make stupid decisions. But if we let logic take too much control, then we'll never switch up. We'll just be like robots and we'll just do things like it's like it's a program. Nothing ever different. You'll never actually learn. You'll never change. You'll only make the logical decision, which might, it might, it might be good, but you could still listen to your emotions. I mean, the Fortnite terms of this would be like if um, he never switched his loot, his gear in the game, and then he was stuck with the with the worst gear. That would have been that would have been if he didn't listen to his greed and his emotions. But then, listening too much to his emotions and not to logic, he dies because he's too greedy. So it's a bit. It's like a balance, because you will become a different person if you let your greed consume you. And that's a whole other topic compared to those other videos, but similar stuff nevertheless. Point is with greed though, is that greed is a purely negative thing. Because you're going to take it and you're going to think, nobody else matters. Nothing else matters in this moment. I need what I want. But you don't need it, you just want it. But you want it so bad that you're going to put things aside, that you're going to push people aside, that you're going to hurt people just to get there. Once again, it's not like Fortnite terms, but you and I have probably both done this, right? In more serious situations, we've probably both done this, yeah? Where we've wanted something so, so bad that we can only remember focusing on that thing. And in that moment, we pushed so many people aside and we became different. And then in the process, we snap back once we're done and we just realize that that was useless. I shouldn't have done that. I did this on Mother's Day once, actually. 
I didn't. I, I don't think I knew it was Mother's Day, or or no 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 I did, I did. But I really really wanted something. I was like eight or nine, and I really really wanted something from a toy store. And I remember bugging my mom on Mother's Day. On Mother's Day. I I remember bugging her like a vulture 24-7. To go bring me to the toy store. Even though this is her day to relax. To bring me to the toy store and go grab something. Because I was just that greedy about it. Now of course I was like 8 or 9. So it's not that big of a deal. And like that didn't ruin my relationship with my mother. But I remember that she got really upset about it. Because during that time it, it just like. She said it felt like I didn't really care that it was Mother's Day. And then it snapped me back to to logic. And I realized it really does come off that way. That was really shitty. And and I was nine at the time. So I I don't have much forethought. But it insulted my mother. And like, you're nine. So you can't really insult people. But you still can in a way. So to hear my mother say that... It's hard for like it was hard for me to ever insult her at that age or ever just hurt her in that at that age. It was just like damn near impossible. But I did. And it felt like shit. And that was that was that's one of the key mo- like that's stuck in my mind every time I think about greed is that one time on Mother's Day that I couldn't even let my mother relax because I wanted a toy. That I'll never get it out of my mind. And you've likely had a situation just like that, right? Or, like, not just like that, but you've wanted something so bad that you've put other people aside and you've hurt them. I'm sure you have. But in those moments, there is a way to avoid this. There is a very good way. Which is just, take a second to think, am I obsessing over it? Because this is what I've noticed. When we are obsessing over that thing, when it is all we can think about, That's when we are the most greedy. That is when we will be a different person. And that is when we will do the most damage. So in those moments, when you're obsessing, just catch yourself. Because you'll you'll feel it. You can think about nothing other than that thing. And acquiring it or doing it or just, you know, whatever it takes. You can only think about it. Nothing else. But in those moments when you catch yourself like that, and you will, and you will. Just take a couple deep breaths, slow it down, slow it down, and ask yourself, are you being greedy and putting people to the side and getting and just obsessing over it too much negatively? If you are, stop it. Calm down, bring logic back to your mind. Take more deep breaths and just sit there for a moment, close your eyes and just think about it. Just consider what you're doing and realize how ridiculous it is. And if you're not being too greedy, you're not pushing everyone to the side, there's a difference between obsession and ambition. So if you're like obsessed in a positive way, like you, you, have, a, you have a really dead set, like, like it's ambition, like you've got pure ambition going on, then you're still fine. But you should probably just take a couple deep breaths and calm yourself a little bit because you'll never make... You'll never make good decisions when your logic is gone and your emotions are just running through your veins because you feel like you're obsessing over that thing. Just take a couple deep breaths and just just relax. Just relax. Bring logic back to your mind. It's the same on both ends, but there's a negative one and there's a positive one. One where people get hurt, one where people don't. So, But either way it goes. You're still going to want to calm down because... We don't want to make reckless decisions. And reckless decisions spawn from pure emotion. And also pure logic, in a way. But I'd say emotion is more dangerous than logic. So, calm it down. Once you know you're obsessing over something, calm it down. Ask yourself if you're being too much. If you're, if you're sacrificing the well-being of others. And if you are, quit it. And if you aren't, just still. Bring it back to Earth. So, once again, we can see this was not as serious as as like the Fortnite story, or like the the Fortnite story wasn't as serious as this lesson. But um, and like you'd probably wonder, how did I even learn that from that story? But 
I, I, I just did, man. I, I don't know. I, I, it just came to my mind. So here I am now. I knew I had to write on it. I just can't. I, 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 I had to. I, it, it, but it is weird. It is weird. How did I get this lesson from a Fortnite game? Doesn't matter. Anyway. That's about it. The, this is the lesson. This is the thing. I hope you enjoyed this sillier story. Because, you know, my stories are usually more serious-ish. So, different style. You know what I mean. Anyway. My challenge for you today. My challenge is to just go back in the past real quick. And just remember when you've obsessed over something so bad that you put people to the side. Now, I don't want you to reminisce and regret things. I don't want you to go all crazy and negative like that. But I just want you to remember what it felt like to obsess over that thing and what the aftermath felt like. Because that will truly help you identify it next time. Next time before it's too late. Just don't, don't, don't regret. Don't reminisce and regret. Just be positive and think about it and just remember what that felt like. So that you can identify it next time and you don't have to, you, you, you just get a little bit of practice. That kind of deal. That's my challenge. Anyway, that's about it now. I hope this lesson helps you a ton. And if you want to read the blog, it'll be down below. Take care, my friend. <laughs>